As I was sitting in my car, waiting on my husband to come out of a doctor's appointment, I was taking the quiet time to read the Bible and realized this might be a good a time as any to share a devotion with you. So in 2 Peter, I'm reading that Jesus has the power of God. His power has given us everything we need to live and to serve God. We have these things because we know him. Jesus called us by his glory and goodness. Through his glory and goodness, he gave us the very great and rich gifts he promised us. With those gifts, you can share in being like God. But there's another layer of it that I hadn't thought of before, and it comes in the next few verses. Because you have these blessings, you should try as much as you can to add these things to your lives. To your faith, add goodness. For me, goodness would be pure thoughts and words, keeping evil away from from my mind through Christian music. I like to listen to sermons in the radio and Bible study. I've just recently picked up a new Bible study through Zoom and with women I mostly don't even know. And it is really, it is really showing promise um, in my life. So to your faith add goodness and to your goodness add knowledge. I think knowledge is what I get from studying God's word and listening to his people, the friends at our church that we don't get to see much anymore. We can still stay in touch in other ways. Add self-control and self-control is keeping a routine possibly that is consistent with how God wants us to live, guarding our words and being a good listener. I have to continuously work on being a good listener had the ability to hold on. What is holding on? And we feel like we're holding on a lot now, but maybe holding on can be just a simple thing. Uh, keep practicing what has worked for you before. Pray, stay in touch, don't withdraw. And if you can't remember what some of those ways are that you've held on before, ask someone who cares about you. Add service for God. And to your service for God, add kindness for your brothers and sisters. And to this kindness, add love. If all these things are in you and are growing, they will help you. But if anyone does not see these things, he cannot see clearly. He is blind. My brothers and sisters, God called you and chose you to be his. Try hard to show what you really are that you really are God's chosen people. And from me to you, please remember, you are of value, you matter, and you are loved. God bless you.